Welcome to Screen Recaps, and today we are going to recapping the movie The Witch Affair. On St. John's night, Miguel watches Aristegui from above and triggers a bomb under his car, unknowingly observed by an elderly couple, Remedios and Nemesio. At the funeral, Miguel offers to be Aristegui's son, Angel's legal guardian. The couple, with a girl. The girl leaves to meet a boy while Miguel speaks to the couple, and Miguel assumes they might blackmail him. Instead, they assure him they're there to help. Remedios warns that while Miguel will achieve all his desires, he will never be loved. A black cat knocks over a Voss, and she tells him the next time he sees one, he'll understand the cost. Twenty years later, Seraphin, now a courier, parks at Club Marche when Angel's car door scrapes his motorcycle. Angel's bodyguard angrily throws the bike, causing Seraphin to have a panic attack. That evening, Seraphin hears about St. John's Night, where burning written wishes is said to make them come true. Curious, he asks Natalia, who explains the tradition. Inspired, Seraphin asks his friend David about his motorcycle. David jokes that Seraphin can have it if anything ever happens to him, and Seraphin soon finds an accident scene with spilled packages and a carrier holding a black cat. He takes the carrier, only to discover the victim is David, triggering a panic attack. An EMT helps him, and an officer returns the carrier with a delivery address. Seraphin goes to pick up his motorcycle, but accidentally takes David's upgraded bike. When an officer realizes the mistake, a rolling car blocks him from stopping Seraphin. Feeling lucky, Seraphin wins 120 euros at a slot machine and delivers the cat to the listed address. There, Maria asks him to deliver a red envelope to Miguel in exchange for a date. She kisses him, warns him not to reveal her identity, then leaves. Seraphin arrives at the home of Remedios and Dimaccio, who assure him David will be fine. Remedios distracts him with tea and a painting. Seraphine, feeling lucky thanks to the black cat, jokingly wishes for wealth, a trip to the Caribbean, and to be with a woman. Remedios promises his wishes will come true. Later, in high spirits, Seraphine tells Natalia to make their lunch and visit to David a wish, surprising his co-workers with his confidence. At Miguel's estate, Seraphine finds Maria, who signals him to stay quiet. After Miguel reads the letter, he has a panic attack, and Seraphine offers his medicine, but Boney steps in to help Miguel. Seraphine accidentally takes Miguel's medicine and finds a lottery ticket in David's helmet, winning 3,000 euros. He buys another ticket, betting on the first eight numbers and asking Azucena, the lottery attendant, on a date if he wins. That afternoon, Seraphine wakes up to Natalia's reminder to visit David. Seraphine arrives early at Cafe Central to meet Natalia, but finds Maria there, who urges him to go out with her. Captivated by her, he agrees. Natalia sees Maria lead Seraphine to a hotel. Inside, Maria deflects his question about Miguel by kissing him. After showering, Seraphine gets nervous, but Maria reassures him and suggests they escape to the Caribbean, reigniting his excitement. Meanwhile, Natalia, heartbroken, sees them kiss and storms off. Later, Seraphine buys tickets for the trip, but Natalia becomes jealous and locks him out of the office. Boney offers Seraphine a job to pick up a briefcase at midnight, which he accepts. Later, Azucena flirts with him, but he initially rejects her for Maria. However, he eventually gives in and follows her to his apartment, unaware she's drugging his drink. Seraphine, overwhelmed by Azucena, drinks more as the TV announces the lottery numbers. He rushes to check his ticket, but the TV cuts to static. Panicking, he collapses before reaching his medicine. Azucena, thinking she killed him, steals the 3,000 euros he won. Meanwhile, Maria cheats on Miguel with Angel at a hotel. After a heated argument, she begs him to help her escape Miguel. Angel dismisses her threats, leaves, and later encounters Seraphine's motorcycle at a club. He instructs the manager to let Raphael into a poker game, despite his annoyance. The next day, after Seraphine delivers a letter, Maria warns him Miguel is watching. She seductively asks Angel to apply lotion on her by the pool, and he reluctantly complies before delivering records to his father. Miguel gives Angel the letter Seraphine delivered revealing Maria's infidelity. Angel pretends not to know, suggesting blackmail. He later confronts Maria, who agrees to meet him at her hotel. To set her up, Angel plans to have Matias deliver knockout champagne to Maria's room. Angel drives Miguel to the hotel, but they're shocked to see Maria kissing Seraphim before entering. Later, Maria calls Angel, threatening to reveal her real lover's identity. That evening, Miguel challenges Angel to Russian roulette and orders him to kill Seraphim at the cemetery taking a briefcase with a million euros for his escape. Miguel also tells Angel the name of his father's killer is in the briefcase. Angel vows revenge, but on his way to meet Seraphine, he accidentally hits Raphael with his car. The day before, 
Rafael owed David 6,000 euros and promised to pay him the next day. He then asked Matias for 1,000 euros, which was granted. Later, Azucena overheard Rafael plotting to have David, the courier, taken care of and promised to help him with his debt. The next morning, Azucena gave Seraphin the 3,000 euros meant for David, which Seraphin mistook for his lottery winnings. Rafael then realized Seraphin wasn't David. That night, after losing at poker, Angel warned Rafael to pay his father within four hours. Distraught, Rafael learned the winning lottery numbers were the same as Seraphin's bet. He rushed out but was hit by Angel's car. In the present, Rafael and Azucena try to steal the 3,000 euros from Seraphin but find him alive on his bike. Meanwhile, Maria recovered a camera from the vent that recorded her and Angel's time together. Maria agreed to vacate her hotel room for one night so the attendant's parents could celebrate their anniversary. That evening, she watched her video with Angel as Saint. John's night began. The next morning, Maria visited Remedios and Nemesio, who offered her a way to kill Miguel and escape. Though hesitant, Maria remembered how they saved her life when she was young and made a deal with them. They reminded her she had wished for a rich husband, but now, with Miguel, she'd rather die. Remedios gave her a red envelope that would set events in motion to free her once Miguel received it. Later, Maria ran into Seraphin and hired him to deliver the letter. Remedios watched as the plan unfolded, knowing it was up to Maria to make her decision. At home, Maria replaced Miguel's medicine with powder given by Remedios and seduced him as she checked his vitals. Maria waited for Angel at a cafe, but he had taken his father with him. Seraphin arrived, so Maria used him to distract Miguel. At the hotel, Maria saw an old man being taken into an ambulance. She sent Seraphin to another room and spoke with the hotel attendant, who revealed that champagne in her room had caused his father's illness. This confirmed to Maria that Angel had tried to set her up. Afterward, Maria confronted Angel at Club Marcia, finding Rosetta in his private lounge, but she left before Angel noticed. Maria, heartbroken over Angel's betrayal, forced Miguel to watch a tape of her with Angel, causing him to have a panic attack. She gave him tampered medicine, but instead of killing him, it saved him. Realizing the medicine had been switched, she confronted Bonnie, who revealed Seraphin had the poisoned medicine. Bonnie warned her not to pursue Seraphin, as Angel would take care of him and disappear with a million euros. Unbeknownst to her, Miguel had planted a bomb in the briefcase intended for Angel. Maria went to Seraphine's apartment and found him seemingly dead. Assuming the pills had killed him, she gathered them to eliminate evidence. Discovering a note about the cemetery and Seraphine's winning lottery ticket, Maria saw an opportunity for escape. Taking the ticket, she left on David's bike. Unbeknownst to her, Raphael and Azucena mistook her for Seraphine. Just as they left, Natalia arrived to visit her co-worker. Later that night at the cemetery, Angel set a trap as Maria, Raphael, and Azucena arrived. Maria, disguised with a helmet, picked up the briefcase but was knocked back by the trap. Angel took the briefcase and discovered a pamphlet for Aristegui's memorial, which included his own photo. Angel's discovery that Miguel killed his father fuels his rage, and he takes Seraphine's bike to confront Miguel. However, Raphael mistakenly shoots and kills Angel, believing him to be Seraphine. When he opens the helmet, he realizes his mistake but finds the money in the briefcase. He instructs his daughter to hide Angel's body and uses the bike to impersonate Seraphine, fooling the guard. At his mansion, Miguel anxiously awaited Angel, certain he had uncovered the truth. Unexpectedly, Remedios and Nemesio arrived with their black cat. Soon after, Rafael appeared with the briefcase to settle his debt. Miguel, however, became distracted by a passing motorcycle rider he mistook for Angel. Believing his son was escaping, he detonated the bomb unaware it was already beside him. The explosion killed both Miguel and Rafael. Watching the scene, Remedios congratulated Bonnie on gaining his freedom, though Nemesio reminded her they had one final task. Days later in the Caribbean, Natalia was knitting baby booties for her and Seraphine's future child. Seraphine was stunned by the news of her pregnancy. Natalia then handed him a photo of her parents, revealing they were Remedios and Nemesio. She also disclosed that she was the mysterious girl Seraphine had encountered at Aristegui's funeral. This revealed Natalia's secret. She was a witch, using her magic to revive Seraphine, just as her parents once saved Maria. I thought I was doing